Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will go through the new configuration steps because we are changing the configuration for the next cloud shared folder. I sent you some instructions but I will go step by step and do them together with you. So first thing you need to do is to go to the TU Humanal Cloud and check if you can see a folder called MRSP Seminars. So we go to this place here. I'm already logged in. Then here I can see all the shared folders and files I have. And you should see this one here, MRSP Folders. It is shared and I'm shared to the MRSP Circle. And this circle is where I included all the names of all the students that re filled the registration form. So we have all the students here. They have this name on the list. They should have access to the shared folder. So the first thing you need to do is to check if you can see in the cloud if you can see this MRSP Seminars folder. Next, you go to your Nextcloud desktop client and you remove the old sync connection we are using to the folder SS2022 Seminars Exchange MRSP. So I go here to my Nextcloud desktop and you can see I have broken things here. I still have the SS2022 Seminars Exchange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove everything what I have here. I will start fresh. So also here, remove connection. Nextcloud crashed. Let's open it again. So now I am connected to the TU Humanal Cloud, but I don't have any folder sync connections anymore. So I don't have any shared folder, any local folder shared to remote, anything. I am fresh. So now we are going to create a new folder in which we will sync the next cloud shared folder. So in my case, I will create a directory, a folder in my home, Renato, Nextcloud, and this is very important. You must put exactly this name here because this is the course ID in the NB Grader. So NB Grader will check this path here, and inside this path, it will look for this directory. And when it finds this directory, then you can fetch and submit seminars. So I go back to my system, I will create here a new folder called next cloud then inside the next cloud I will create a new folder called MRSP underscore seminars exactly how it is with the capital letters the small letters exactly like it is here so I created my folder so let's see what I have to do next so next we are going to sync this local folder. This will be our local sharing folder. So we should not do anything inside there. NB Grader will take care of the files, the file management, and it will copy things and from this folder. So we sh once we create it and we configure it, we don't need to touch it anymore. So I will go back to the next cloud desktop and I will create a folder sync connection. So I go back to my add folder sync connection. Then I will choose this folder that I just created, which is here, next cloud, and then MRSP seminars. Then I will open this and I'll click on next. And now I can select the MRSP seminars that this is the same what you should see from the cloud. I'll click on next. Then I will 
keep like this so all the subfolders from this I will add a sync connection and now it is syncing so syncing is done so I have the Nextcloud MRSP seminars synchronized with my local folder Nextop, Nextcloud MRSP seminars and these are the subfolders here so go back here See my MRSP seminars, the home, Nextcloud, MRSP seminars, and I see also the symbol here that is signalizing that these folders are synced. So this is our shared folder, this is our local folder that is synchronized with the cloud remote folder. So let's go back to the steps. So if you follow all these steps correctly, you have a local folder synced with the remote folder. Now we need to start the configuration for the NB grader. To do this, you need to create another folder completely separate from your local folder that is synced with the remote folder. So it needs to be completely separate from the next cloud. It should be a total different folder. You can name it as you want it. In my case, I will name as MRSP Seminars Work, so I know that it's my working folder. So I go back to my system, I go to my home, I create a new folder, and I'm creating this MRSP Seminars Work. So now I go inside this MRSP Seminars Work, it is completely different from Nextcloud, completely different from MRSP Seminars. It's a different folder in a different location. Then I will go inside this folder and here we need to create a file. It's the nbgraderconfig.py. You find this file is the same file that we've been using. We just need to do some changes. So you can download the template from the GitHub, from Moodle, from you can use the old ones that you've been using. We just need to add it. So I am here on my work folder and in my case I will create a text file. So I'll go to text editor. Then I will go back here to the instructions. It says that this should be inside my config file. So I will paste this here. And now this is the course ID MRSP seminars. It's the same name as our shared synced folder. Here is the path to the folder that we synced. In my case is home Renato Nets Cloud. So don't put here an extra MRSP seminars name otherwise you have problems in configuration. So NB Grader will go inside this space here and will try to find this folder here. So NB Grader will go to the next cloud and will try to find this folder here. So this is what we are going to do. My system, I'm not Renato. I have my nickname of Fera, so I need to change this. And you can also change to your, and here you put your matricle number. So NB Grader, you use your matricle number for a, a lot of things, for creating folders, for timestamps, for checking who is who, and things like this. So now I can save my file, but it must be called NB Grader config.py and it must be inside my working folder for the seminars not in the shared folder not anywhere else in the folder that you're going to work on your seminars and then I'm going to save so now when we go to the MRSP seminars work there is this nbgraderconfig.py so you look that here in Nextcloud MRSP seminars, there is no config. You should not do anything inside here. You need to go to your seminars work and here you have your configuration file. Now I'm going to start a terminal. I will activate an environment that I will use to manage seminars or to grade or to work. You can activate your own and now I'll do NB grader list. So with this command, 
I see that there are released assignments. So NB Grader is find, finding and everything is fine. And this is what we are doing here in this step here. Everything is working fine with NB Grader and our configuration is done. In some systems, depending on the version of the Jupyter Notebook installed, depending on the version of NBGrader, depending on the version of libraries, there is a problem with the browser extension for Jupyter Notebooks. So you, might, you may encounter a lot of bugs. This is why there are commands. So if you do NBGrader help, oops. There is help here for all the commands. Fetch feedback, fetch assignment, submit assignment, list assignment, a lot of other things. So everything you can do in the browser, you can do also in the command line. So if something is not working, you cannot fetch some assignments in your browser because there's some problem as long as you have a good running configuration you can do from the command line but let's try to start now Jupyter Notebook so pay attention that I need to start Jupyter Notebook exactly from my working directory where there is this nbgrader config.py so I'm not in any shared folder I'm not anywhere else I'm in my working folder there's nothing inside it just this configuration file that I created now we'll start Jupyter Notebook when I go to assignments, I see that there are released assignments and I can fetch them. So when I fetch them, nbgrader is doing all the file management. We don't need to do anything else. And then I go and I work on my seminars, for example, and everything's fine. I think I want to submit, I can save, then I can close and I go back here and I will Submit. So you don't need to validate if you run your seminars and everything's fine. In this case here, so everything's fine. You don't need to validate. Validate is only for checking if you're in a hurry. Validate will run the cells and see what happens. In a lot of browser, it doesn't work. I don't know in my version here. Let's check. So I already have a version mismatch. So I cannot use this validate from here. So maybe you have the same thing, but it doesn't matter because I ran by myself details and I think it's everything's fine. So I can close. Even if I try here, it will give me the same indication. Actually, no. So I have a lot of students, they are having this same problem here. Coroutine object is not subscriptable. So this is a problem because of versions, libraries, conflicts, bugs but it doesn't affect how we fetch, submit, and work on the seminars because we can run all the cells by ourselves and we know if there is a problem, if there is an error, or if we think it's okay. And I will submit. When I submit, I see here that there is a submit with a certain timestamp. And this timestamp is checked to see if you submitted in time or if you're late or when you submitted and NBGrader uses this. So when the feedback is available, you can fetch feedback, but it will, it will be written here that there is some feedback to be fetched and then you can fetch feedback. So we have a running system. You can also fetch assignments using the command line. So if you don't know, you can always ask for help. So there should be here somewhere a fetch, a, uh, fetch assignment. So you can try because NB grader list. So we list some assignments. I can NB grader as fetch assignment and I'll put seminar one so in my case now fetch assignment failed why so always look 
in the terminal because I already have a copy of the assignment in this directory. So suppose I released um, there was I found a bug in the assignment, but you already fetched and you cannot fetch it again. But I I made some changes and you need the new version. So you can go to your working directory. You can delete a folder, for example. And now if you try to fetch the assignment one, then and be greater is fetching with this i hope that um, this will help you to configure with the new modifications make sure that you change here it's not mrsp anymore is mrsp seminars make sure that you have the correct path here make sure that you're starting from the correct place those are the most common problems if you find some problems with read-only files or permission denied or unwritable files, then it's because of some permissions. And there is on my V tutorial about troubleshooting configuration, I explain how you can change the permissions of your folders and files. So you can use this command called chmod. There are different parameters you can give you can Google it if you don't know. You can Google about permissions in Ubuntu and you get all the information how you can change the permissions and then you should have a working configuration. So thank you very much for your time. I hope this helps. And now we have a separate shared folder just for the multi-rate signal processing. And let's see if there will be less syncing and configuration issues. Thank you very much. Hasta la bye bye.